Can we have the music? Ah, oh, it's gorgeous, yes. The non-copyrighted version. Oh, here we go. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to episode six, I think it is, of Jurassic World Modded Series. So before we get into it, I do want to address this series. Uh, the reason why it hasn't been on the channel for a while is because it ran into some complications, we'll say. Um, as we all know, Frontier does not and cannot support mods because of licensing issues. I mean, these are, you know, they, they look very similar to the ones from the game, but also it's a walking with dinosaurs kind of mod, and especially, um, you were here a second ago, this beauty right here. Of course, it is very similar to, it is the one from uh, walking with dinosaurs, the beautiful Allosaurus there. And of course, the way it's not supported by Frontier, so if anything goes wrong with people's games, it's not their problem, kind of. Not only that being the uh, the problem, I thought it was like a simple, you know, a little slap on the wrist kind of deal, like Frontier, naughty bad beaver, he. But then something came to light that I was very unaware of. Now, I don't know how true this was, but certain people got in touch with me, told me that basically uh, Frontier had been telling people, well, you know, not really, but kind of like saying, don't, don't, don't put mods out there. Don't show how to do it. Don't show uh, all that sort of things, basically censoring people. Um, this, of course, is not true. But at the same time, it's a really, really, yes, Carnotaurus, where is it? It's a really, really, like, hard area to talk about because they can't support it, but then they can't give permission, but then they like it, but I, maybe they don't. And either way, I had a few content creators reach out to me um, and say that, yeah, you probably shouldn't do that. Hey, pal, you shouldn't do that. <laughs> and uh, and it was at this point where I was like, whoa, I don't want to jeopardize my, um, I mean, I don't have a partnership with Frontier, but we remain like, you know, on good terms. I, of course, do not represent Frontier. Uh, I am my own thing, if you hadn't guessed already. And this uh, this led to me getting in touch with Frontier and um, just making sure I was I was being a good boy <laughs> to an extent. Uh, and then other people started doing the mods because I'd stopped. Like, episode five was supposed to be the last one. I was like, okay, right, that's it. We had a good run, uh, but I don't want to jeopardize anything that I've had because Frontier have done so many amazing things um, like through them. Oh yeah, we fixed the Spinosaurus. He's he's not he's not um, got a weird skin uh, condition at the moment. He's okay. It looks it actually this is the skin from Jurassic Park three. Um, the difference is the tail, I think, is shorter, and that's literally it. Of course, the skin looks a bit different as well. It's more lightish gray along the back there, which is quite cool. But yeah, I just wanted to address that uh, as, you know, an explanation why there was a hiatus from this game for so long, and um, just generally mods. But with that being said, we're back with our kind of mod showcase uh, playthrough series. It's not really a showcase because we don't just showcase one kind of skin. We play through, which is even better because you'll see it multiple times and you'll get attached to them because hopefully they won't die for a very long time. Uh, we also, I want Carnotaurus. Carnotaurus is going to look so good. And people have told me because I did try to get the Allosaurus to be created um, with the intention of having multiples. Now, people told me there is apparently a mod out there that does unlock all of the uh, genetic um, variations that you could have. So maybe there is, the, there might be a mod out there that allows me to add social to the Allosaurus so that we can have multiples, which would be amazing. Um, but at the mo- oh, I like how the one for the Spinosaur, I didn't change. I didn't change it so it looks like the quadruped, uh, lower, like the more scientifically accurate one, but it's, uh, it's not. But we'll, we'll keep that. It looks nice. Something different. Everything's okay. Nothing's gonna break out. We still got our Triceratops. Where's the weird purple one? There's the weird purple one, yes. So we've got plenty more modded creatures to, uh, Oh wait, oh god, oh, tropical storms. We need that, we need the, the bigger fences. I don't think I have them, do I? Nah, I don't have the bigger fences. Oh, this is not so good. Oh, here it comes, here comes the storm. Anybody remember that from that animation? Oh yes, wow, that was a fun one. Oh god, it's a hurricane, it's a hurricane. I heard that, oh, of course, it, oh, well, that's okay. As long as it doesn't, um, go for the paddocks. I get the feeling that it probably will, though. 
shouldn't be too much of an issue. What I'll do is I'll send off some jeeps. Well, I'll send off that. That's for that one jeep going for it. We've still got this one. What I'm going to do is get him to already head over there and um, do a flare. So he's making his way down, down. Look at it destroying fences, releasing dinosaurs. Oh my. Look at the jeep go. Taking a sweet time to get there. Bash it into the light. <laughs> go round. I mean, it should do that. That should be an easy. Oh God. Oh. Well, so far, no carnivores, so that's good. However, hmm, what is this Jeep doing? Oh, it's got, oh, it went through the Jurassic Park gate. Oh, you beauty. Oh, I wanted to go through there. Why couldn't I go through? However, this is a T-Rex paddock. So that one's a little bit more dangerous. Ah, I don't think it's gonna go there, we're okay. Let's just get Carnotaurus and release it now. We got a giga. We could get a giga. Oh, the T-Rex is breaking the fence. Rexy, come on, it's electrified, don't do it. Go oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Uh oh god, we've got a lot of like disruption going on here. Oh on no! Side until you got there and God now, damn it! Hey, we know it was worth it. Oh no, it's an Allosaurus! Oh whoopsies! Okay. I thought it would. Oh no! Happy guests, happy dinosaurs. Oh, we got Allosaurus. Oh Jesus! Big Al's escaped. Big Al's getting out. Um, you don't need to construct additional pylons. Oh God, he's going for. He's going for. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh, he just kicked it out the way like it was nothing. <laughs> Can we? I was gonna say, can we uh, edit, edit the drive tour? No, I don't want to drive one. I want to, I want to go in it. I want to go in it. No, 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 no. Ride. Oh, but we can't go to those ones because I think they've been damaged. Oh. <laughs> da 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 da. Oh, look at Allosaurus. Oh, he's making a, he's making a beeline. He's making a beeline to go. Oh, for God's sake. We got a teensy bit of a problem. And then you also repair these fences. This is why. We needed locking mechanisms on the vehicle door. They don't look... Oh, well, one's just ran inside, so that's good. They don't look to be electric, but maybe they are. Oh, the Allosaur's still making his way. Okay, let's prepare. Right, we've got our dart. He'll be coming. She'll be coming round the mountain when she... Oh, I can see her. <laughs> oh, him, sorry. Oh, he's not a threat, apparently. And he's just... Oh, look at him go. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go on, then. Oh, you're going in the Dilophosaurus exhibit. Okay. There we go. Oh, God! Get it out! 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 Don't let Dilophosaurus kill it! Come on, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Do not let Big Al die! Oh, my God. We've got a disease as well. Ooh. Ooh! Who's got a fungal and toenail infection? No, Big Al! Don't let it be you! Damn it, Ellie! I know, I know. You give me good dinosaurs. I'll, I'll choose you. Full of opportunities. Ooh, God, it's For the dinosaur, <gasps> we are only scratching the surface. She knows. But studying dinosaurs means digging deeper. It did before Jurassic Park. Even more so now. Take a look at this contract. We're Bend digging it. deeper underground. More dinosaurs. Car car dinosaurs. You guys will be happy with the mod that I've got on this one. He's gonna look very good. Oh. Gerald, yes! What the hell? When did Rexy get out? When did Sue break out? There's no fence. There's no break in the fence. How? Ha 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 ha. Ooh. How did that happen? No, don't sedate. Okay, we've got two dinosaurs that are uh, a threat. Okay, okay. Well, we'll get that in. We'll get you in. I need that John Hammond, man. Oh, oh, is this Rexy? Yes, Rexy sedated. I don't know. Oh, you're not even, you're not even on the road. Get off the road. Right, are you guys okay population a little bit? And can we have another, like more Triceratops or anything? We can have something else in there. I don't know what though. Oh my God. Come on, it's hard to have the total guest count go up when they're constantly being eaten by dinosaurs. This is, this is not in the plan. 
It's not part of the plan, damn it. More research we need. Uh, is there anything good here? Cenoceratops. I mean, the Zootoceratops is hidden and... Oh, we've almost got... Oh, no. Wait, what? We've almost got Alan Grant, actually. I have hair like wave. Uh, I was gonna say, we can't... We could put... I think we could put Gerald in with the Triceratops. We should do that. We should also put, like, a little hidey place for him, though. We should put them, like, there. And then we'll put a feeder in as well. I don't think Trodon attack Triceratops, if I remember correctly. I don't think they do. <laughs> There's only one way to find out, though. Just a little bit, a oh, oh, little bit more. Is just add a hotel and then delete it. And you guys, hold on. You told me an even better way for doing the uh, the storm evacuation thing is just to not have them powered. You don't have to delete them constantly. All we need to do is just delete the path. Oh, you geniuses. I love you. Yes. Yes. Amber. I mean, what we'll do is we'll place the hotel there just for a second, for a hot second, and then we could always just delete it and then reconnect it. And that way, we got a way to plow through the Jeff Goblin missions and plow through the John Hammond missions. That should increase our total guests. Because the only thing that's stopping them is okay capacity. There we go. We'll hide a little cafe around the corner. That'll do. That's really low. Some of these Probably... animals are aggressive Ooh. enough without the added stress of hunger. Feed them, or they will feed themselves. I think and the goat's been running out. Nobody is gonna like it. Oh, yep, there it is. Well, I've made a bit of a mistake. As soon as the goats, like, come out, they just run away from the T-Rex. There you go, Rexy. You'll never go hungry again. I can't remember what's a good skin. Um, the no one's just a dull brown, red, tundra, savanna, step. Let's go for step. Let's go for step. Uh, give it a shock. And, um... No, I'm a dragonfly. Give it a 2.7 million. It's fine. How's Big Al doing? You're getting on with your dippy friends. Oh, yeah. Also, there was uh, an update not too long ago. Or actually, a while ago now. Uh, so, sauropods don't get scared of carnivores anymore. Or at least, you know, large carnivores that can't kill them. Like the Allosaurus. So, they all get on together, which is awesome. Even though in real life, it wouldn't work like that. But at least... We don't have dinosaurs starving to death, which was the main complaint that people had. Where's my dig team? I wonder the dig team. Who's got a Damn it, Ellie? Ah! Well, we're, we're getting there. We're get Wow, okay, hold on. Uh, where's this restaurant? I think the only way to get more people in is to make more dinosaurs. Doesn't matter. We could have the, the best gourmet sea bass ever. But we ain't bringing in the punters. Ha <laughs> ha! Yes! Okay! Carnotaurus it is. Think the Carnotaurus can have two? Oh, look. Oh, this Spinosaurus hunting the fish. Like you should be, yes. Go hunt the fish. If you think about it, right? Look how big that fish is. That is, that's like, that's like that big. That's a huge fish. It's massive. I'm Jeremy Wade. Muscle fibers modification. Oh, did I add that to it? Oh, I don't know. Did I plead? Did, did, did I satisfy Ellie? I don't think I did. Oh, hold on, hold on. It's a dragonfly. I don't think I did it. Damn. Or did I? No, I didn't. Oh, nice, nice weather. Hold on, I want to see this. Oh, look at them getting on. Oh, Big Al, I'm so proud of you. Are you turning vegetarian? Are you? Oh, they grow up so fast. All right, there you go. Two Carnotaurus. Hopefully they can get on together. Oh look, buried treasure. That is really rare to get actually. I've, I've seen people even recently get that and say, I've never seen this before. Laztec gold. I get Trodon, uh, Giga, beautiful, beautiful. So if you want Aztec gold, you research the Giga in Argentina, which would make sense because that's, uh, that's where the Aztecs were. Or at least they were somewhere in South America, I think. Car, car. Kakuka, let's go get you. Uh, let's get some more genetic research. Whoa, Indoraptor costs 2.5 million. You, oh, that's expensive. I'll just get some cheapies. <laughs> get some Fallen Kingdom dinosaurs. They're not expensive. Okay, as soon as we get Carnotaurus, we're good. We're good. I think we're going to get those two John Hammond missions. And as soon as we do, I'll delete the path. I think what I'll do is actually take the frill off. Because I'd like to see a Dilophosaurus without the uh, Jurassic Park frill. Even though I do like it. 
I think it would just be interesting to see what it looks like. All right, more research. Apparently, Sinoceratops is way quicker to research. <gasps> We're ready. Ooh, does it look like it should? Oh, there you go. We did it instantly. I don't notice or remember when my people deliver. Because I most certainly do. I don't, don't think, think it I does, actually. That you stayed true Oops. to our mission. Your oh, I've done everything. Your efforts are worthy of both praise and, well, something more. I <gasps> No, I'm confident that you will use this wisely. What did you give me, John? John, what did you give me? Uh, ooh, research team Charlie. <gasps> yes! Let's research the research team. Okay, so here we go. Carnotaurus actually looks, I think, like a regular Carnotaurus? Damn! Okay, well, don't worry, guys. I'll fix that in the next episode. We're still Thanks. gonna get trolled on, this though. This is what we needed. <gasps> yes, it is, Ellie. Ellie, if please give me... If we deconstruct what went wrong on the islands, we can't leave out the fact that we didn't know enough about the dinosaurs. Oh, uh, why, though, Contracts Ellie? Contracts like this one should help in that regard, at least. Okay, we'll call this one Well Done Toast. More, Ellie? You want more? I guess we need to embrace the fact that we are all explorers now struggling to comprehend this world of dinosaurs the collision of past and present dr malcolm seems to take a particular kind of joy in it personally oh. i'd like a little less chaos and this latest contract might help us get there oh there was like an invisible wall right there oh god oh, i did not see that dinosaurs through images more photos would be really helpful here's what don't I don't worry ellie i got this oh. I'm a photographer master. Bam! There we go. 30 grand, right? That's what you wanted? Boom! Made 60 grand and whatever she gave me as well. These photos are not only useful, but beautiful. Thanks. <gasps> oh, thank you, Ellie. Oh, now we got three Here's research teams? Here's something to you for all yes. the hard work you've been putting in. <gasps> What'd you give me? Oh, an Azutoceratops. Okay, so you what know, else we got left? We've got a Baryonyx. The only thing I wanted from this place was to escape it in one piece. Now, now my feelings about Jurassic Park are changing. It's partly because of you I'm reconsidering my opinions. Call it hope, a gift you've given. So I hope you'll accept this one in return. I changed it. <laughs> I just had like the thought of like, if I ever meet Laura Dern, be like, do you remember I made you change? <laughs> that was me. Okay, uh, Alan Grant, you need one more, okay. Oh, easy peasy. You want me to sell some fossils? Awesome. Oh, they're happy together. This is good. This is good. Now, all we need to do is sedate them. We'll call you Pale Toast. Whoa. Hey, it's just like, um, what do you call it? Uh, JPOG, where if you had um, two dinosaurs and the next one that was released, that would become the alpha always, like every time. And now uh, Pale Toast is the alpha. That's interesting. So we should have a Jeep making its way up here to sedate. I hope. It seems to be taking the very, very long way around, and I don't know why. Apparently. It's <laughs> so it's gonna cut through here, go through that one. Oh, okay, that makes sense. That's not too bad, okay. Fair enough. Right, we need to enclose this, because it feels a little bit open. We, we are gonna expand it. In fact, we've only got this much left to expand to. But I want to enclose it so the tour feels feels a bit more full. Um, I think that the Carnotauruses will be happy in here. I think. I hope so. Oh god, what is going on with this? Can we can we flatten this a little bit? Oh, we've almost done John Hammonds. There don't we go. Oh, we're back I to 89 now. Wait. Yeah. That was lucky. Okay, it's because the Carnotauruses are sedated, so we'll move them into their new holding pens. Well, I, not holding pen. That's where they live now. We still need some John Hammond, though. Still need a little bit of John. Oh, come on! I that was a 200! people who take care of me and my dinosaurs. This contract you is your chance. I think you should take it. Well, as soon as I'm done with all your missions, John, I'm never making more another hotel. It's not happening. Inventory space and extended ground herbivore feeder. That would be a good one. We just need an Ian Malcolm. That's what I should have went for. I have to admit, this is my favorite enclosure. I think we could put a few more Diplodocus in here. I love it. It's so good. Where's the aloe? Al. Oh, he's having a rest. Hello, cutie. 
How many kills have you made? You've killed one goat. You've killed one goat. It doesn't even have a goat feeder in it. It's just because the one escaped from the T-Rex. Oh God, it's got a taste for the hunt. Go on, go see your friends. Oh, was this one not electric fences either? Oh, I'm so sorry. Oops. I just want you all to break out apparently. Oh, she wanted ankylosaur, didn't she? Oh God, well, that's a big list of dinosaurs, Ali. That's a big list of dinosaurs. In fact, I don't know if you could get ankylosaur. Could you always get ankylosaur with Jurassic Park expansion? Because I don't think we're ever going to get a mission for something that we couldn't have gotten. Actually, yes. Carnotaurus was something we couldn't have gotten, and yet um, Ellie Sattler was like, no, you need it. So uh, the, the mod must have changed that mission as well. The expeditions returned with valuable new tools for dealing with our dinosaurs. I mean, the dinosaurs. John's vision may have brought them back. But they belong to no one. You tell him, Gran, you tell him. Now, can I have my prize yet? Oh, do I go for another John Hammond? Oh, fine. I knew it would be that one. I knew it would be that one. I mean, what? Shopping's low, apparently. People really want to shop. They want to go shopping. Right, let's go. Let's build some shops. Ooh, wow, it filled up like instantly. Uh, let's sell life-size cutouts because that's all we sell at Jurassic Park. Put the prices up. Hubble, hubble, hubble. And there you go. Uh, that'll do. I think we should be good. How, we were on 70 odd percent. Now we're on 89%. Wow, we're doing great, guys. This is the best park in the world. <laughs> the greatest theme park in the history of the world. 95%. Okay, guys, let's make some Trodons. Let's make some Trodons. Okay, okay, let's make these some good Geralds. We'll have one as a regular skin, because I think the regular skin is what we're going to need. Then we'll give you that, we'll give you that. Um, what makes you live longest? That puts your resilience up for diseases, so I'd rather you're immune. And then there you go. 85 attack, 9 defense, bless it. But it does have venom. So let's, uh, let's not forget that. So one, two, and then we'll just increase the hatchery capacity because we'll still have, how much? 80% and we're on 29%. So there's three and there's four. And that should be enough to put in with the Triceratops. And they can just skedaddle around. So what we'll do is I'll kind of have this forest. So this is where we sort of divert into a foresty kind of area. Little little mishmash gets a little bit dirty from the, the lovely beachy area. And then we could even make it like dirtier, like around here. Maybe the transition, oh my god, it just, an eclipse of the sun happened. You guys probably don't have a problem seeing this, but I'm, I'm having a problem making anything out. It's just so damn dark. Okay, seven dinosaurs left. One, two, three. There we go. Set them off. Is there anything we could just like pop into this one? We have Gallimaus, Diplodocus, Brachiosaur. We have Apatosaurus because Apatosaurus is the uh, Ehrlichosaurus. Uh, we have Carithosaurus. We don't have Pachycephalosaurus though. Maybe Pachycephalosaurus would be good. We should probably get some of those. We need three, I think. I know they have a low social limit. That's the only only downside. Just make sure that they don't catch diseases. Oh, Ooh, the Trodons are ready. Oh my god, is it going to look the way it should do? Please do, please do. Yes! It's Gerald! If only the eyes glowed. If only they were white. Gerald! That's amazing. I love Gerald. Gotta love a bit of Gerald. We're having five Geralds. Oh my god, I didn't realize we had so many things that need replenishing. Interesting that the Trodon has the compi sound effect. I thought the Trodon would have the compi sound effect because we weren't going to have the compi. So at least we'll have something that makes the compi sound effects. Maybe they weren't planning on having the compi. And then they made some sort of discovery and they're like, wait, no, we can. So, eh. who knows, I suppose. Bam, straight into the fence. I mean, it makes sense that we have the Trodon out at night. Ooh, hold on, can I dart them? I want to dart. I want to dart. Ooh. Oh, that was right in the eye. I'm so sorry. I think I burst his eyeball. Oh, and we got the Pachycephalosaurus. The moment of truth for the Pachycephalosaurus is why we get so many. <gasps> New species all the time. And uh, these, I don't think I put the mod on for them. There is a mod that makes them slighter, like a little bit slimmer. Um, or maybe this has one. I'm not sure. 
I don't think it does. It looks very similar. But I mean, come on. I love how it just goes <laughs> straight into its own neck. If this model didn't look like this, there would be a mod for it. 100%. 100%. He's not going to be happy, though. Oh, my God. His population limit's a bit dodgy. Oh. Oh. You need to... Be, oh, they need to be in... A, they need to be in an enclosure where there's a few animals with the same requirements. Um, so, I'm not going to release the other ones. Let's have a look. Right. He needs at least three. We should have a... a ooh. That'd be so cool. We had some sort of enclosure where... Um, they, they like, the cars drove through and it was just like a, a r racing track for, um, for Pachycephalosaurus and Stiggy Molochs and all that. Because at this point, we really need to conserve space. And I think that is probably big enough for the Pachycephalosaurus. And then I may as well at the moment, since we don't have any other enclosures, just kind of bring it back round and there you go so this will be the pachycephalosaurus enclosure sticky moloch and possibly even ankylosaur just so i can like knock those guys out in a small enclosure okay okay trodons you should be running around in here right oh there they are they okay oh they're happy <laughs> little demon nightmares pachycephalosaurus moving on out come on we gotta get these racing lines here we go <laughs> Through the power of the log. There you go. Look at that. Ain't that pretty? Now we just need to add it to the other end. This is where you enter and then you see the other cars that have been destroyed in front of you. That's why it's a long route. Hello. Oh, they're so cute. I love them. Will you please move out of the way though? I'm trying to place yeah. the log. Let's go. So we got a lot of logs. A lot of logs. And then we need like racing lines of terrain. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we need. Oh, no, he needs his friend. I'll bring your friend in. Don't worry. There you go. Right, where's this Trodon? How do they look? Are they happy? Are they? Oh, the Triceratops are sticking together. Oh, wow, they are really sticking together. Oh, okay. Where are the Trodons? Are they... Oh, they're also kind of sticking together as well over here. Oh, they're so cute. I love them. They only had the glow, like more white in the eyes. That looks so good. But that's awesome. It's a shame that... I guess what they could do as well is they could edit the model so it looks more like the ones from Jurassic Park, the game, where it's got more like a like a wider mouth. But that... It does look kind of horrendous, though. This is all right. I'm happy with this. Either way, I'd be happy. Oh, look at the Triceratops heard in the background. Oh, can we have the music? Oh, it's gorgeous. Yes, the non-copyrighted version. Oh, you got a disease? I deliberately made sure that you wouldn't get diseases. I made you quite immune. Simonella. Why are you eating Simon? You're a vegetarian. There you go. Oh, there you go. Catch that as well. Oh, God. Okay. We're on no battery. Okay. Well, yeah, we're going to have to end it here. But if you enjoyed this video, leave a like. I will make sure to change the contour so it looks much better in the next episode. But if you enjoyed it, leave a like. And I'll see you later. Oh, bye-bye.